Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today our yoga practice is gonna focus on our back. So find a little bit of space to move. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get started. So let's begin today on our hands and our knees in tabletop. And we'll warm up our spine right from the start here with a little cat and cow. So spread your fingers nice and wide. Bring your knees in right underneath your hips. And I want you to just take some nice big breath here as we move through our cat and cow. So feel free to move at your own pace or you can follow with me. But each time you inhale, you're going to drop your belly, lift your chest. Lift your chin if it feels good. Maybe look up or just forwards. And each time you exhale, you can round the spine, squeezing the tummy in, drawing the chin to the collarbone. Push into your palms a little bit more. Inhale, drop the belly. Lifting the chest and exhale. Rounding, squeezing that tummy in and inhale. And exhale. Just warming up the body. Finding out how you are feeling. How your spine's feeling, the low back, the upper back. How your shoulders, even your abdominals, your tummy are feeling. And just let your breath kind of guide you. We're going to do a few more of these. So nice big breath if you can. <sighs> Remembering to inhale as you drop the belly and arch the back. And exhale as you round and lift the chest. Awesome job, you guys. Let's do one more full cycle of breath. And then we'll meet in a nice neutral flat spine on the hands and on the knees and table top position. If you feel like you need to take your hips for a little rock to shake it out a little bit, go for it. But we'll be tucking our toes under and lifting up into downward facing dog when you're ready. So lift those knees off the mat. Once you lift up, take a few walks <laughs> with your dog. So bend one knee and straighten the other. Let the hips get a little higher towards the ceiling and let your chest try to find your thighs. Opening up through the shoulders, creating much needed length through the spine. And then just take a moment to find your breath here. Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale, we're going to come forwards into a plank. And as you exhale, we're going to lower all the way down onto our stomachs. So all the way down to your mat. So let's find our forearms for Sphinx pose. Tucking your elbows under your shoulders. Take your palms, pushing them into the mat. And you can zip your legs together. Squeezing the legs together a little bit, or if that's too much pressure on the low back, just bring your feet out wide. So either option, legs together or legs out wide, I want you to push into your forearms, lift that chest a little bit, and drop the shoulders away from your ears. Feel that low back start to engage, start to strengthen, and then just breathe. Staying nice and active here as we continue to drop the shoulders from the ears. When we relax, we collapse and we kind of lose that strength that we are building through that low back. Awesome job, you guys. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Lower your chest all the way down. Maybe let the elbows come out to the sides, but just 
relax for a moment. And then we're going to be coming back up round two, sphinx or seal. So either way, tuck the elbows in under those shoulders, palms are down. You can do the same thing we just did, or you can bring your hands out to the corners of your mat. Elbows are still tucking in, and then you can lift those forearms and those elbows up. But this one's going to take you a lot further into that low back. So if it's too much, just stay on the forearms. I want you to drop the shoulders. Everybody drop the shoulders from the ears. Feel that low back engage. Let your hips be heavy, even your belly button. It might have lifted off of the floor, but think about letting it be heavy. It wants to come back down towards the floor. Finding your breath. Awesome job, you guys. One more inhale. And an exhale, lower the forearms down, lower the chest all the way, find a place where you can just relax. If you need to rock your hips side to side, you can let them rock. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're going to meet back in downward facing dog. So bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. You can push up onto your hands and your knees or maybe all the way into your plank, but send the hips nice and high. Take your downward facing dog. Think about this as a nice place to be, to lengthen the spine. So if you need to bend your knees to let the chest kind of sink down towards the bottom of your mat a little bit more, bend the knees. Don't worry about the heels touching the floor. I want you to create as much length through the spine as you can. Nicely done, you guys, using an inhale. We're coming back into our plank. We'll lower all the way back down onto our tummies, nice and slow. And then let's find our forearms one more time. All right, you guys, so from here, I'm gonna actually change my mind. <laughs> Come off of your forearms and bring your arms to your sides and your hands by your hips. Okay, so the palms can face down. So we'll start completely lower down on the mat, but let's bring the chin down instead of a cheek, the chin. We're gonna come into locust pose. So we're gonna continue to create strength through the back of our body. So using an inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, lift the chin. You can keep your hands down for a moment. Start to feel that work through the back already. And then let's see if the hands want to lift up. If they want to fly, they can fly. And then last but not least, maybe the legs, maybe even the quads can lift up off the mat. I know the feet want to come out wide here to get a little higher, but let's keep the big toes touching. Nice, you guys feel that love through that back body. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, lift the chest. One more inhale. And exhale, lower down, relax, rest a cheek, doesn't matter which one. And then we're going to go back up, we're going to take flight another time. <laughs> I haven't decided if we're doing one more or two more, so let's go for it. <laughs> Bring your chin back to the mat, use an inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin. If the hands want to take flight, let them. If the legs want to take flight, let them. 
Breathe, holding it here. Locust pose is an amazing posture. It opens the chest, the shoulders. It allows us to take some nice big breath, giving so much love to our lungs. It's strengthening our entire back body. And as you draw your belly button in, you're really stimulating all those ab abdominal organs, all those internal organs in that upper body. So many amazing benefits. We're strengthening our back. It's helping, helping create awesome posture in our day-to-day -day lives and just so good all these sensations running through the body. I know we've been here for a long time. Hold it with me, you guys. One more inhale and exhale. Woo. Oh, relax, feel what you feel. <laughs> Bring your opposite cheek down to the mat and let it go. If you feel like you need to rock your hips side to side, you can rock your hips side to side. <sighs> we won't do one more of those. So just shake it out, shake it out a little bit. But I do want to come into Cobra next. So we'll bring our hands to the mat under the shoulders. And for this one, I want you to bring your feet out to the edges of your mat, so nice and wide. As you inhale, let's lift the chest and roll the shoulders back. So hugging your elbows into your sides. You don't have to go super high in this one, but you definitely can. Oh, I want you to think about it being a little bit more relaxing than the locust, so a little less effort, hopefully. We'll let those hips be nice and heavy. Let's take another inhale and an exhale to lower down. Hug the elbows into the sides as you lower. Relax, and we're going to come back up. Inhale, lift the chest. Roll those shoulders back and down. Take one more breath. Oh, knees and exhale to lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. So slide your legs back in together. We'll push ourselves back up either onto our hands and knees or into our high plank. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. So take those hips for a little rock side to side if it feels good. Remembering that we want to create as much length as spine while we're here. So don't be afraid to bend your knees and even lift the heels. But most importantly, just breathe. It's like one more inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees down to the mat. Cross your ankles and have a seat. So we created some much needed strength through the back already. And now we're going to add some twists to relieve all or any pressure. So actually I will stay seated this way. So let's bring the, the left leg out and cross the right leg over top. You can keep the bottom leg out straight or you can tuck it in. So think about bringing the knee towards the chest, sitting up nice and tall, relax the shoulders from the ears. We're at our twist. So starting to turn the upper body towards your knee, so towards the right, hug that knee in. Maybe the right hand wants to come to the floor behind you to help keep you sitting nice and long. Maybe that left elbow wants to come to the outside of your knee just to help you go a little bit further. But just breathe, feel a nice stretch of your back all the way from the base of your spine up to the bottom of your neck. Let's use an inhale to turn back to face the front. And exhale for the counter twist. Nice long spine, so a little taller. Hmm. And then bringing yourself back to the front as you inhale, unwind your legs, right legs coming out, left over top. Maybe bend the bottom leg in, maybe not. Uh, but just sit tall here, <clears throat> hands to your knee to start. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, <sighs> twisting. Hmm. I'm just going as far as you need to to feel stretch through your back. Hmm. Twisting, giving us a nice internal 
cleanse as well, squeezing all of our organs. Nice job, you guys. Use an inhale, turn yourself to the front and exhale for your counter. So good. And bringing yourself back to face the front, unwinding your legs, and we can lay all the way down. <clears throat> so coming down onto your back, let's just take a second to let the low back connect to the mat. So if you need to lift your heels or just kind of help that low back connect, do that. Give it a little bit of a massage, maybe kind of rocking the hip side to side in, in a weird way maybe, or maybe it just comes natural. A little massage. Awesome job. All right, let's lift our hips up. So bring your heels back down. Lift your hips just a little bit and slide them to the right side of your mat. Lift them, put them down, and then let your knees fall over to the left. So that's just gonna help us keep our hips and our shoulders in one straight line because a lot of times when we just let our knees fall, our hips are all the way over to the left and our spine is no longer in a straight line. So if you wanna look at your hips and check, check it out and if they're not in a straight line, just move your hips over to the right side a little bit. Find your twist. A nice stretch the back, releasing any low back pain that we might be feeling in this moment. Awesome work and using an inhale, lifting the knees, uncross the legs. So bring that low back to the middle of the mat again because we slid the hips to the right a little bit. So bring them back to center. Take your little massage. So again, trying to touch that tailbone to the mat. Might have to lift your heels, shake it out a little bit. <laughs> and then we'll drop the heels, push into the feet just to slide those hips, lift them up. Slide them over to the left, and then let the knees come to the right. So you can look down towards your hips as your spine in a straight line, or your hips and your shoulders in line with one another. If yes, great. If not, move your hips in whatever direction you need to to find that nice straight line. <sighs> Ready, using an inhale. Let the knees come back up. One more low back massage. <clears throat> nice. If you wanna pull your knees all the way in towards your chest and keep going with that low back massage, you can add that in. Might look a little different. Awesome job, you guys. Starting to send your legs out nice and long on your mat. The low back, it's probably going to lift up off the mat. That natural curve of the spine, there's nothing wrong with it. So just turn your palms to face up and rest your arms at your sides. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. Awesome practice today, you guys. I encourage you to stay here as long as you have time for. But until we meet again, namaste.